Hey everyone, welcome to episode two already. I'm uh, flying through the build here today. Um, obviously won't be finishing the printer today, but I did want to do another update here on the Z-axis, X-axis, and belt routing. Uh, so far, again, amazing kit, no issues whatsoever. Um, I did find my M3 by 40 screws, so no parts missing at all so far. Uh, printed parts, again, from Sparta 3D working excellent. Here's a good look at how much belt Formbot gives you. Plenty of belt, which is really awesome. You can see the Z here. Lead screws look to be very, very excellent quality. I haven't noticed any binding or them being bent at all. So that's super nice. So let's talk about belt routing here. This is, if you've never built a Core XY printer before, this could be the part which is a little bit tricky for some, especially because Voron, the belt routing in the back has a little bit of a different um, routing. Not too bad, I'll show that here in a moment. So what I did was I started on the bottom left-hand side belt here. I ran it through. Make sure you know, note which way the teeth are facing. This is a toothed idler, so I know the teeth were would be facing me. Okay. What I did was, I came around this tooth idler, idler, I put the belt in here and then I pulled it out, out this direction first and then I fed it back in so that it could wrap around the bearing in here. So again, belt came around here, I pulled it through here and then I looped it back around and I put it right back in here. And then it comes out this side here. So, and then it, that runs all the way along Again, it's the lower belt, runs all the way along into the back here. And then if we look at the top here, you can kind of see how the belt goes. So there's an idle, two idlers stacked on top of each other in the back here. Let's actually see if I can get a bit better look here. So you can see the belts on the back here. These are the idlers I'm talking about. So again, we're doing the back belt. It goes around the idler and it goes back into the printed part here. It goes around the motor pulley and then it goes back this direction to go around another idler inside. So the belt actually does a loop. So it comes out, goes like this, goes back out and then goes right along the back and then it just goes along Sorry for the shaky cam here. It goes along again, lower belt goes along here, wraps around this pulley and it runs just straight along the frame. Okay, so it runs straight along the frame, goes through this X and it actually goes onto that lower idler, not the toothed one, but again, it's the lower belt and then it attaches to the bottom of your X here. So that's the first belt. Then, you can start on this side on the top and you do the same thing. Comes out here, goes around this tooth idler, goes through here, comes out. I loop it back around on the inside so it wraps around the pulley that's in here. Runs along the frame and then it does that loop again like we talked about. Again, this is the upper belt. So it goes out around the pulley here, comes around through the motor pulley, out again and then through the back all the way down, around an idler, and back onto this side. So they're just a mirror of each other. So that's uh, the biggest pro to Core XY uh, belt routing is you have one belt tensioning this side and one belt tensioning this side so that your X axis is always parallel and it's not skewing like this. You have, it's very important that you have the same tension on the left side and the right side. So I have tensioned my belts with just this little M3 screw here, you can see on both sides. You wanna make sure that you have equal tension on each side, otherwise you're skewing your X. So you wanna make sure, and the belt should be nice and tight. Don't, you don't, they don't have to be crazy insane tight, but you definitely don't want any slop. You can always tighten it as you go if you find they loosen up after a while, so. Yeah, that's kind of the best way I can try to explain the the belt routing on an actual printer. The guy does have a pretty good uh, 
diagram too on how belt routing works there too. So that feet are all installed here. Do know the orientation of these parts. This um, smooth kind of cutout here should face the front of the printer and then on the back there, the same cutout should face the rear as well. These profiles look much different. These should be facing the side of the printer. All right. Again, if anyone has any questions on this stage, feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.